Why does the G7 still have great influence and importance in the world? You see, while it is true that certain parts of the world, such as the BRICS, have gained significant relevance, and more particularly China and India, the G7 still holds power, as they still represent around 60% of global wealth. Today, let's look a little deeper. Welcome to why the G7 is not useless. The G7 is an intergovernmental political forum composed of Germany, Canada, the United States, France, Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom. This group includes seven of the world's nine largest economies and seven of the top 10 largest exporters in the world. Currently, G7 countries represent around 60% of global wealth and 10% of the world's population. And 46% of the world's GDP. And let's remember that it's not just economic power where the G7 excels, but also political power, military power, and when it comes to advanced technology. Since let's not forget that the United States, Japan and Germany are manufacturing giants with all sorts of high-tech solutions sold at a large scale, globally. However, there are other nations like the BRICS that have seen an increase in their economic influence in recent decades as drivers of growth, trade and global investment, thereby diminishing the strength of the G7. But despite the growth of other groups of nations like the BRICS, the G7 has not become useless and it has a trick up its sleeve, leveraging more influence. Countries with significant influence in the world, such as Australia, South Korea, and the European Union, lend their support to the G7. They are effectively an extension of the G7's power. And the importance of these alliances lies in the fact that each of them has something to offer. In the case of Australia, it is a top three producer of iron ore, cobalt, zinc, and uranium in the world. In terms of energy, the country ranks 7th among producers of natural gas worldwide and has the 13th largest reserves. As for South Korea, it is an innovative powerhouse in the technology industry, leasing in fields such as computers, robotics, military aircraft, and more. In fact, in terms of military capabilities, South Korea has a very strong defense industry. It manufactures armored combat vehicles, warships, aircraft, artillery, among others and ranks as the sixth most powerful army in the world, with 600,000 active soldiers and 3 million in reserve. And lastly, the EU. The European Union is an international power, associated more with the concept of soft power. It has a common foreign and security policy that allows it to act and express its position on the international stage. It also has demographic weight, ranking third in global population, even when excluding the EU G7 members. That's another 238 million people being accounted for. So, while it is true that the G7 has experienced a decrease in its global influence, it also receives support from major nations, which reinforces its global influence, giving it the ability to determine the international agenda, which often sets off a domino effect many other international organizations and institutions, explaining why the G7 is not useless. Hey everyone, now here's my question for you. Do you think the G7 still has a global impact and is it worth mentioning? Or is it no longer of significant importance? If you liked this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe and comment the pizza emoji below. Otherwise, take care. Bye.